If you're just joining us, we had an on-time launch at 12.09 p.m. Eastern, followed by a successful ascent, stage separation, first stage landing, and two second stage engine burns. We have just one more major milestone coming up to complete today's mission, which of course is the deployment of the GPS-3 satellite from Falcon 9's second stage which will happen here in just under a minute at T plus one hour, 29 minutes and 20 seconds. Currently, we are in view of the customer ground stations at Hawaii and California, which are necessary to reach prior to deployment. Now in the 20 or so minutes since we've been coasting, we have increased quite a bit in altitude from our last burn from about 420 kilometers now all the way up to over 4,000 kilometers. You can see those beautiful live views from our second stage. And let's listen in to hear that call out and watch for GPS-3 separation from our second stage here in just a few seconds. A load separation confirmed. You can see in that beautiful video and heard the confirmation that we did have a successful payload deployment there. And for those watching, you are witnessing a successful deployment of the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 5. And with that successful deployment, that now brings our webcast to a close. Good. Great views from the camera on the second stage of Falcon 9 as we watch GPS-3, number five, Heading away from the vehicle, it's on its way to do its mission. I'd like to thank you. We'd like to thank the US Space Force for entrusting us with today's GPS-3 Space Vehicle 5 mission. SpaceX is one of two certified providers for national security space launch missions, and we're proud to be able to offer reliable, cost-effective launch services to the US Space Force. We look forward to supporting the next GPS mission that's targeted for liftoff next year.